What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, the ROCM Rock M Radeon software, but on your WSL2 subsystem. Um, and uh, just full disclosure, a couple things I got to go over quickly. Um, if you need, if you're using Zaluda currently, and you are also using PyTorch 3D or Colossal AI, don't switch. Because Zaluda works, if you got Zaluda to work with these, um, it doesn't, th those, these libraries do not exist for RockM currently. So don't switch yet. Okay? I, that's, that's what I've come to the conclusion of. The other thing is, if you've already installed the software and you've bricked Windows WSL, it's because this driver is not signed. And you need to disable secure boot in your, dri in your BIOS. So if let's, let's say for example like you play Valorant and you've enabled secure boot in your BIOS, you have to disable that function because otherwise it checks against this because it tries to use it at, at boot and it, it it basically makes your computer like take five minutes to boot and then Windows WSL Windows Subsystem Two will not start up. You'll just notice like it's just like a black box. And I've seen a lot of this already on GitHub, so I have to go start telling people that. But please spread that word to people because people are breaking their computers probably on installing WSL2 like left and right, not understanding what's going on. And it's literally just the fact that AMD software, which is once again par for the course, uh, is just breaking people's computers left and right. So that's just whatever. AMD, like, come on, you got to do better. <laughs> you got to do better, AMD. I don't know why they do this. They do they torture us we i want them to be better i want them to be better than nvidia and they're like nah nope so anyway this is an unsigned driver if you installed it and you had secure boot uh enabled you won't be able to use wsl2 full disclosure anyway what we're doing is installing this driver on windows i'm not going to do that part of the exercise or that part of the tutorial here you need to run this yourself this is basically just like running a normal windows install a windows installation for a radian um driver update um, like I said, though, just make sure your secure boot is disabled before you start this. It's super important. Okay, full disclosure on that one. And then, like I said, if you're running Zaluda to do these two, uh, either Colossal or Facebook researches, uh, PyTorch 3D, don't bother. That being said, that being said, uh, if you're, and this is just uh, another interesting thing, uh, if you're using RockM, uh, this is just the disclosure part still. RockM, here, let's just see. Cool. They have two things that are awesome, Xformers and Flash Attention. So if you're not using those other two things and you're using Zaluda and you're not, you're not really sure if you should like make the switch, you will get Xformers and Flash Attention with, with um, your AMD hardware. I, as, CUDA doesn't even have that, so that's awesome, I think. I'm not misunderstanding that. Anyway, okay, so let's get into the installation part of how this all works. So I'm taking for granted that you've already installed the new driver and you've also disabled the secure boot in your um, BIOS, okay? So what we're gonna do is now run this part of the installation. So we're gonna wanna update our sudo, or sorry, update our apt. Apt is just the package manager for Linux. Um, Uh, sorry. Uh, what? 